Hey guys, what's up? Um, uh, I felt like making um juggling tutorial. Three balls. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> All right. First thing you gotta do is get three juggling balls. Um, it's, it's um actually really easy. You can even juggle miscellaneous items if you're good. But I'm not saying you should get it. See these? These are actually just play balls. These babies, they're just play balls filled with rice. Look, one sec. Let me find the gap. Right here. See? Just rice. Alright, get back in here. Okay. Yeah, it takes a while to fill them up, but once you do it, it's like really worth the time. It's really inexpensive. Or you can just go someplace, get like three balls. It could be like dog toy balls, even. As long as it's just three. Alright? Once you've gotten your three balls, start watching this video. What you have to do pick up one of your balls, doesn't matter which one, just one. Pick it up, then throw it. Make sure you're throwing it. One sec, let me adjust this. Okay. Make sure you're throwing it about as far as you can reach. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the camera. That's why. But if you're a really big, a big beginner, just do this. Let it fall. Pick it up. Let it fall. Do this about 20 times, and I promise it'll pay off. And then, grab your two juggling balls, or whatever type of balls you got. Just one, two. Let them fall to the ground. Just let them fall. And keep on doing that until you're comfortable catching the ball. But keep on letting them drop. Let them drop. Let them drop like... Uh, until you feel comfortable with catching them. Do it like 10 times and then try catching them. If you can catch them exactly, like 20 times in a row, like, but this isn't, this isn't, like, 20. One, two, this is, this is one. One, right? 20 times. After you're comfortable with that, pick up your third bowl. Put your arms down, take a big breath, a cold breath. Let it through, through your nose. Stay with peace. Like, turn off like all the TV, all the lights and stuff like that. Be with yourself with peace. And then just one, two, three. Just keep on doing that. Do about uh about twenty-five times. So you can be like starting off really good. One, two, three. Make sure they're, they're, you're throwing them up as far as you can reach. I'm not saying as far as you can reach with your, like, tippy toes, like, or as far as you can jump up with your hands. I'm saying just standing still up like that. And then just keep on doing that. Be relaxed with it. One, two, three. Then keep on doing that until you feel, you feel just relax and you know you can do it then try your best one two three this is what i like to do throw throw one two no wait no sorry messed that up throw one two then drop the third one let it just drop so you can get the hang up to start one two three let the third one drop keep on doing that until you feel comfortable and then It'll just come from nature. It's not like you have to remember it every single time. You you'll just keep on going with nature if you did what I did. And if you can't do this yet, keep on working on this. Oh wait, not bad. Uh, sorry. One, two, three. Let him drop. And then keep on trying that until you got the hang of it. And then. And if you feel you're about to drop, just let him. Just let him drop to the ground. 
I'm not saying you're gonna learn this in like uh, how long have I been doing this? Like five minutes. I'm not saying you're gonna learn this thing in five minutes. It takes months. It took me like five months just to like learn how to do this. And then it let me uh, took me another month to do regular tricks. Then it took me another month to do the harder tricks. Yeah, I'm not that good at them. <laughs> so I'm not saying it's gonna come easy. But um here, Google this. Here, do some research. Move your brain a little. <laughs> Alright. Google this. Type in does juggling make you smarter? And most websites will say yes it does. It's say they conducting studies that um a person would um would learn how to juggle in like five months. Like me. <laughs> uh and um the other person would just stay regular and they would have a big test of concentration and everything and see how they're all and um and they said that the person who learned how to juggle did everything I did like more like got a hundred on the test the person who didn't juggle got like a 70 on the test I think oh uh, my knowledge <laughs> and um it also gives you more hand-eye coordination let's say you play baseball like me. <laughs> it it makes you it makes you like um come with nature with the ball as you like let's say you're juggling, it's instinct to catch the ball and then throw another one up, and then and then you can get another instinct that helps you with your instincts. With a ball, you can just swing and hit it. It'll help you with sports. It'll help you with your life. I I I'm not lying right here. It will. I'm not saying that you have to be like the best juggler in the world and be like like do these like nonsense crazy crazy tricks like you're throwing one up and then like put one on your nose and balance it or something you know I'm saying that all you gotta do is learn how to juggle three balls just like this sorry I just don't feel like it hell it's okay just like this and then you can go lower and lower and lower And then you can, like, impress all your friends and say, guess what I learned over the summer. Yeah, that's right, boy. I know how to juggle now, so <laughs> Okay, you're not supposed to be. Yeah, and you're going to be like, how did you learn how to do that? How? How did you do that? Well, you know, it's it's a secret. You know? it, it is a secret. Okay, I hope you guys learned how to juggle. And write a comment. You're starting to get the hang of it. If you're like at least like starting to do a three, start. I'm not saying you have to like actually catch one. Keep on thinking. All right. Well, uh, hope you guys have a have a nice day. And uh, yeah, see you later. I'm hoping to make a double sticking tutorial soon. So, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe.